Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, me and Rikus have begun our own individual togetherness Pokemon journey. We have basically hijacked Ruba Boy and are on the SS Aqua Jet? Aqua? Might be just be Aqua. Anyway, we are on our way to Kanto to begin a second Pokemon League journey. Also, that's the end of my recap. Now it is time for this guy to give a recap. Hello, son. I can't find my granddaughter. If she's on the ship, that's okay. But what if she fell overboard? She's an ener energetic child, so she may be bugging someone. I'm worried. So, our task for the day, before we reach Kanto, and only before we reach Kanto, is to find this missing child. Thanks, guy. I chewed him out good so he'll quit slacking off. Yeah, we just finished uh, dealing with a slacker who was slacking off. A little girl? I may have seen her go by here. In all seriousness, this little girl situation... The ship will not arrive in Kanto until we finish it. So, if we wanted to go on a forever boat ride, we could just not do it. By the way, I just want to point out the window here. Are we looking under the ship? I mean, the water is not moving, so maybe this is just water inside the ship. But that's even more concerning. Ugh, I'm seasick. Also, hello, Pinky! Welcome to the stream! I'm kind of excited about today. I've been looking for this part of the journey for a long time. Admittedly, there are probably some folks who may or may not be a little unhappy that more than half of this team has been disbanded. But story-wise, I think it's interesting. Me and Rak Rikus, who were hatched into our former team, leaving the nest and going on our own journey. It is a concept that I really like, especially from the perspective of a Pokémon. And also, a certain Pokémon that we'll be catching, yes. Actually, there are a couple Pokémon that I am hoping to add to my team during our journey in Kanto. One of them we'll certainly get, the other... I don't know if it's even been randomized into the shuffle. We'll kinda have to wait and see on that one. Uh, Rakus could probably take care of the Ponyta, but it's at level 29, so I'll just go ahead and deal with it. Hello, Austin Wall! Welcome to my stream. Right now, we are on the SS Aqua. I am fairly certain that is the name of it. On our way into Kanto. I can't move anymore. Are, are, did we accidentally paralyze you? No more ships for me. Next time, I'm taking the magnet train. Oh, wait. I, I know what's going on with you. There's nothing in here. Oh, nope, never mind. I was wrong. Nothing else in that room. Let's head into here. Another trainer there? Yep. Nothing beats a battle when I'm on my break. Austin Wall says, right now I am grinding Cyndaquil to 12 before Faulkner. Oh, well, good luck with that. Faulkner's Pidgeotto is definitely potentially tough. Especially when the game does not allow you to go get a Mareep. Ah yes, Gust. One of the few attacks that can actually hit a flying Pokémon. And in fact, when it does, it causes double damage. But it's only Gust, so Rikus is... not having to worry too much about it. Uh, 
Let's go with strength next, Rikus. And confusion. Oh, that's not good. Can you break through it? You can break through it good. Win or lose, my break's over. I guess I can't win if I don't get serious. Not one of those Pokemon you won't. Need to do some grinding. Okay, next. I'm so bored. Want to battle? Absolutely. Hope you don't mind going up against a legendary Pokemon, Deborah. Ugh, fly our strength was not working out terribly well last time. Probably best to stick with Waterfall. Have that same type of advantage. And then it's over. Okay, plan B. Or plan E, as the case may be. Yeah, I know, that wasn't a funny joke. But you'll have to accept it. Just like the Knocked Owl and the Knocked Owl's trainer will have to accept defeat. Yo! You're too strong! Saffron, Celadon... I hear there are many big cities in Kanto. No, you, you pretty much named the only two. I mean, there's some large towns, but not all of them are that big. Wake up, Rikus. We're not done here yet. Oh, hold on a sec. Is there anything further down? Nope. Oh, did we make it through the rest of the ship already? Huh. Well, before I check on the little girl and the captain, anything of interest in here? Pokemon handbook, graph... Nope. There's a random meal sitting over here. Are you gonna eat that? I mean, not that Roboboy can eat it. He's a robot, after all. Captain, play with me, please? I'm bored. I want to play more. Hi, will you play with me? Oh, Grandpa's worried about me? I have to go. I have to go find Grandpa. Grandpa, here I am. I was playing with the captain and this guy. Herba boy, was it? I heard you entertained my granddaughter. I want to thank you for that. I know, I'd like you to have this. I forgot there was a reward. A metal coat, interesting. Yep, SS Aqua. Fast ship SS Aqua has arrived in Vermilion City. We're traveling around the world. I had lots of fun playing. Okay, was not expecting us to be teleported up to the grandpa. Figured the girl would just wander up there on her own. I mean, she wandered everywhere else on her own. Okay, back to the captain, because I kind of wanted to speak to him. Yeah, <sighs> thanks for coming along. Keeping that little girl amused was exhausting. Out of curiosity, shouldn't the captain be up at the helm? I mean, I know that he was being pestered by a little girl, but still, that doesn't look like the part of the ship where people are, like, steering it and that sort of thing. I don't know, maybe my knowledge of ships is off and the captain doesn't necessarily have to be at the wheel. Hi, right back! We have just arrived at this place, but I'm gonna go ahead and sleep. 
Rubble Boy does not have to be sleeping, though. He probably has to, like, charge himself. The rest of us are sleeping, though. And now we're awake. Facet SS Aqua has arrived in Vermilion City. Yes, we have been told that, and that's automatic. Sorry, you can't board now. And same thing. You came from Johto? I hear many rare Pokemon live over there. It just occurs to me that this is a remix of the theme from Vermilion from the original games. How appropriate. The fast ship sails on Wednesdays and Sundays every week. So, welcome to Vermilion City. Been a long time since I've been here. Vermilion Port Entrance. In a little bit, it'll be daylight, and we'll actually get to see this area in its glorious orange color. For now, let's go ahead and explore. Skilled trainers gather in Kanto. Gym leaders are especially strong. They won't be easy to defeat. Snorlax is snoring peacefully. Kanto has a real Snorlax problem. Oh, there's some orange. I'm thinking about going shopping in Saffron. Team Rocket is no longer in Kanto. That alone makes me happy. What sort of items do you have? Oh, surprised that you have some of the best healing items. This shop has been upgraded since red and blue, apparently. Anything that I might want? Not necessarily. Okay, before proceeding any further, I want to check here. There's going to be hidden items here and there. I missed a hidden item. I totally missed a hidden item. Is there any way I can get this hidden item? I really should have looked at that guide before leaving this map here. Oh, thank goodness. No! No! No. Um, let me think here. Okay, I am able to get back on the ship, but it is going to force me onto the ship if I do, so I won't be able to travel to that post down there to get the hidden item. So, I missed a hidden item. That's not fair. I mean, yes it is, because I should have looked at the guide ahead of time, but darn it. We're going to have to ride the ship again in order to get that item. And from Olivine. Uh, I wonder what day it comes from Olivine. In this case, we were able to ride it here any day because that's how you advance the plot. <sighs> okay, what other items should I be on the lookout for? There's an item by the gym. Oh, well, I, I was afraid we would need cut. Neither of us have cut on hand. Ooh, rare candy. Probably actually going to save that for some other time. Ugh, if only my last save was not at the start of this episode. I would have to fight those trainers again. Over many years, Diglett dug a large tunnel. That tunnel goes to a distant town.
Just wanted to check on the radio again. There are eight gyms in Kanto. That big building is Vermillion's Pokemon Gym. Do you know about the Magnet Train? It's a railway that goes to Goldenrod in Johto. I want to go to Saffron to see the Magnet Train. I, I like trains, actually. I want to ride it. Is that an Arcanine? That is totally an Arcanine statue, isn't it? I think it is. Kinda? Hmm. Oh, Bayleaf. Interesting to see a Johto Pokemon in Kanto, especially a starter Pokemon. Look at my darling Bayleaf. The leaf on its head is so cute. I would have to take your word for it because it looks like an Oddish. It's a Clefairy! Huh? Oh, right. It's a Clefairy Pokey Doll. I love the way Clefairy waggles its fingers when it's trying to use Metronome. It's so adorable! I'm the chairman of the Pokemon fan club. I've raised over 150 Pokemon. I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon. Did you visit just to hear about my Pokemon? Uh, uh, sure. Good, then listen up. So, my favorite Rapidash, blah blah, it's blah blah, cute, blah blah, lovey, smart, unbearably, blah blah blah, plus amazing, no, blah blah blah, you think so, too much of blah blah blah, blah, blah. kindly, I'm not it, I don't it's nothing, and more than kindly, and blah, blah, so on and so forth. Oops, look at the time. I've kept you too long. Thanks for hearing me out. I want you to have this. Oh, it's another rare candy. That is nowhere near as impressive as a million dollar Vike voucher. It's a rare candy that makes Pokemon stronger. I prefer making my Pokemon stronger by battling so you can have it. I'll use one of these rare candies. Our chairman is very vocal when it comes to Pokemon. Wasn't that the exact same thing that he says whenever you get the bike voucher in Gen 1? I saw listen politely to other trainers. Um, politely, sure. If someone brags, brag right back. Oh, well, so much for being polite. Pokemon Fan Club, all Pokemon fans, welcome. Vermilion Port is Kanto's seaside gateway. Luxury liners from around the world dock here. My Pokemon is preparing the land for construction. But I have no money to start the project. Okay, I was about to say, this was... Started like three years ago. And apparently your Pokemon is still a Machop. Thought for sure it'd be a Machoke by now. A Machop is growling while stomping the ground flat. Apparently stomping on the ground is not good for leveling up. Vermilion City, the port of exquisite sunsets. Well, we'll have to settle for a sunrise instead. I am the Fishing Guru, the Elder of the Fishing Bros. Do you happen to know Fisherman Wilton? He fishes on Route 44. He came through with an amazing tip on the phone. Thanks to him, I caught a whole lot of rare Pokemon. What a day it was! Are, are you gonna tell us what that tip is? I'm actually kinda curious. Not that it would actually work, probably, but it would be interesting to know. Must be a secret. Oh? You have some badges I've never seen before. Oh, I get it. You got them in Johto. The fast ship is a great place to meet and battle trainers. 
A sleeping Pokemon is lying in front of Diglett's cave. It's a fantastic opportunity to get it, but how do you wake it up? You know, here's a question. Why don't we just throw a Pokeball at the Snorlax? I mean, you catch Pokemon whenever they're asleep anyway, why do you have to wake it up just to make it fall back asleep and catch it? So we're at full health, right? Yeah. Okay, first things first. Gonna go ahead and... Store... Both of the... Well, maybe not both. One of these... Rare candies. That metal cow... Or the metal coat... Powers up steel type moves. Never actually gonna use those. Oh yeah, I forgot about these items. Gonna hold on to them, actually. Right back points out that if it's at full health, it would just escape. Uh, that's okay. We got a Master Ball. Where is it? Master Ball. There it is. The best ball. It never misses. And if nothing else, could always just hold down B. Fuzzy Images says, am I the only one who has had the Master Ball miss? H how? I, I'm, I don't, is that even possible? Are you sure? Strikeback is asking why you would waste a Master Ball on a Snorlax. Well, I, I suppose you got a point. There are better Pokemon to throw Master Balls at. Anyway, we need cuts, and I don't feel like teaching any of us cuts, so let's go ahead and go fishing now, shall we? We'll settle for the old rod. Not even nibble. Well, try again. Oh, it'll happen eventually. There it is! I was about to say, surely there's gonna be Pokémon here. Oh! Interesting! So now that we're in Kanto, we have the Kanto battle theme. It sounds... kinda simple. As though this game was trying to emulate the sound of Gen 1, which was on the Game Boy. Except this is also on the Game Boy. It's kind of like calling the kettle black. Anyway, here's the Pokemon I was looking for. Anyone want to be a Meowth? Okay, well, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and catch this one. Balls. Here we go. Huzzah! And we have captured a Meowth. Meowth, the Scratch Cat Pokemon. Foot four inches, nine pounds. The fish was that big. It loves anything that shines. It, it, it especially adores coins that it picks up and secretly hoards. Okay, well, uh... Let's see here. For nickname... Well, let's just... We'll just do that. Since there's no certainty of anybody wanting to be volunteering as a Meowth. We'll just go with Catfish, as Pinky is suggesting. Oh 
Okay. Ah, I finally got that Meowth. I've been waiting for a while to get the Meowth because it is super duper adorable. It is also going to kind of be the mascot of this adventure. Because, you know, we could use a cute mascot. This thing is not going to be evolved throughout the rest of the journey. It's going to be a little tough to raise that way, but I can't get rid of that cuteness. Beyond that, evolutions are randomized, so who knows what it would evolve into. It might evolve into coughing for all we know. I'm not sure coughing would make a good mascot. Okay, uh, let's see here. Let's head back into the Pokemon Center real quick, because there is an item we need to retrieve. Fuzzy is hopping off. Alright, see ya, Fuzzy. Withdraw. The experience share. That's going to be kind of useful to have. And from here, I need to kind of figure out its stat situation, because we're going to be buffing it up a whole bunch throughout this journey. Or attempt to, anyway. In order to stand a chance, we need to give her all of the stats. So let's see what we got here. HP is 28... Attack is 15, defense is 13, special is 14, special defense is 14, speed is 23. Reason why I'm making note of all these stats is so that I can be certain that, that these buff items are working. So let's go ahead and raise attack real quick. Iron for defense, Carbos for speed, Calcium for the specials, and HP for HP. Okay, how are we looking now? 30... Sixteen, fifteen, 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 and twenty-four. So, everything went up. Next thing to do is use one of these rare candies. So now health is thirty-two. Seventeen, sixteen, 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 and twenty-six. Cool! And learn Bite. It is interesting that Catfish is only now learning Bite, considering that we caught it. Fishing. If it didn't bite the lure, what did it do? Hugged it? Let's go with Hug it. Okay, some more of these now. Hello, Spiteful Crow. Welcome to the stream. do for now. Well, just out of curiosity, though. Oh, HP didn't actually go up that time. Is there any stats that didn't go up besides that? Defense didn't actually go up. Okay. So, reset. This is why I saved. 
So HP didn't go up and defense didn't go up. So we need to hold on to those items until they are actually willing to work properly. So skipping HP. Special at least went up. Speed. Defense did not, attack did. So, this should be proper now. So, attack went up. Special went up. Speed went up. Okay, that takes care of that. How about we go ahead and head into our first episode break of today's stream. And when we come back... We're heading to the knife of the gym of this adventure.